everyone, my name is Kathy Kosak and I work in the kitchen at Headland Center for the Arts. And I will be doing another cooking demo today. And for today's um, recipe, I will be doing the spiced chocolate truffles. If you've been to one of our um, public programs or a members dinner, um, you might be familiar with these. We serve them often as our dessert component. So, um, why don't you guys come over here to see the different ingredients and tools that you'll need for this cooking demo. So first, I'm going to tell you about our secret spice blend. And now it's all yours. Um, so for our, car our chocolate truffles, the spices that we use are star anise, black pepper, uh, cinnamon, red pepper flakes, cardamom, um, and coffee. So what you'll need is a saucepan um, with your heavy whipping cream in here. And what I like to do with the spices and the coffee is to um, mash them up a little bit in a mortar and pestle so the flavors can seep more into the cream. I don't have something like that at home, so instead this is my DIY version of using a bowl and um, a mug that has a flat bottom on it. So what I'll do is take my spices, especially the cinnamon and star anise and cardamom. Crunch them up a bit. You don't need to really like hammer it, it's more of like a pressure motion. And once these are broken up a little bit, like you can see, I'm gonna put those into our heavy whipping cream. Um, as far as the black pepper and the red pepper flakes go, um, I would just put them right in. And the coffee will smash up a little bit. Yeah, so you can see it's, we're not looking for ground coffee, just it, the beans a bit broken up. This is a really fun recipe to do because it's so aromatic. Like I'm just smelling all of these beautiful spices right now in this coffee. So now that that's there. So now that you have your spices um, and your coffee in with your cream, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this onto the burner um, and you just wanna get the mixture hot. Pretty much when you see your first bubble, like turn it off and then just let it steep for at least a half an hour. But if you have a little bit more time, like two hours, like it couldn't hurt, it'll just, the flavors will get more intense. Um, I already have my cream steeped that is over here. And after you have your cream steeped, you wanna strain out your mixture um, and discard the spices in the coffee, and then put your cream with your, uh, the spice flavor back into the saucepan and get it hot again. Because the key with making these truffles are that the heat from your cream is what melts this chocolate. Um, at Headlands, the type of chocolate we use for these is 67% uh, Verona, but I have also used this, um, done this recipe with some random baking chocolate that I found in the back cupboard of an apartment from um, a, a previous roommate from many years ago. So it's a, it's a versatile recipe, like the better chocolate you use, like yes, the more delicious it's gonna be, but if you have something else on hand, you might as well try and see how it turns out. So now this cream um, with the spice flavor is quite hot right now. What we're gonna do is Pour it over the top and not mix it right away. What we're looking for is the heat to melt it all. So let it sit for a second. 
And now, as you can see also, I have the butter that's in the recipe there. Now we're going to mix it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause for a second to let that residual heat from the cream melt the chocolate a little bit more. This recipe is all about patience. I'll take a whisk. And really what we're doing right now is we're just looking for all of those little chunks of chocolate um, to be fully melted and incorporated into this. So I can still see a little bit more chunks right now, so I'm gonna pause and hopefully the bowl is quite hot right now with um, the milk that I had put in there, so I'm gonna let it wait for a second. And just mix again. So now I can see that my chocolate is completely melted and all the cream is mixed in. We are then going to take um, the, some liqueur. So for today, I chose this um, St. George's Spirits um, version of absinthe that they have. Um, that's a distillery that's just over in Alameda. Um, and I chose this because a common thing that we put in these truffles is a fennel flour infused vodka that we make at, um, in the shop. Um, and it has a similar flavor uh, profile. Uh, other different liqueurs that we use at Headlands would be a um, bourbon um, vanilla, like a, a vanilla infused bourbon that we make there, but also really any liqueur that you have. Um, rum would be really delicious. Um, look and see what you have. And we will add our liqueur. fully incorporated. So now I can see that the it's all mixed up. And now you want to have a this is a loaf pan, which is lined with this sheet of parchment. And we'll just pour this mixture in. Just move the chocolate around so then it becomes smooth and even surface. And this is a great time to use kind of the uh, best salt that you have. Um, this is a flaky sea salt from Oak Town Spices. I believe it's from Cyprus. They have a really phenomenal collection of uh, assortment of salts there. And I believe that they are um, selling and shipping online. So we will just sprinkle this over the top. Also, if you have Malden salt, that's a great one, um, but also even just a different type of sea salt could also work. So now that, now at this stage, what you wanna do is um, cover it and put it in the refrigerator um, for at least three hours, but preferably overnight until it um, gets solid and is hard enough that you could slice it with a knife. Um, and so for the next step of dusting the truffles, I'll bring you all over here. So I have a block that's already ready to go um, that I did yesterday. And we will take a knife and slice 
into little squares. We're gonna go on the smaller side with this because this is a really intense flavor. You only really need like a little bite size. Um, and our method for dusting these truffles is uh, two bowls. One bowl contains cocoa powder, and then you have another empty bowl with um, a sieve or, yeah, like a sieve. And then we will take our little squares, place them into the bowl, just toss them so the cocoa powder um, covers them completely and then pour the entire mixture um, into your strainer also this makes this process a lot less messy because you're not actually touching any of the cocoa powder and then you just strain it like this And then all this other cocoa powder that you're not, that doesn't stick to the truffles and goes into this other bowl, you can um, seal it up in a container and then use it for another baking project. Then we just dump these into a little bowl. These are ready to go. And here are your chocolate truffles. Um, you, now you have all of our secrets, um, how to make these delicious chocolate truffles. Uh, Damon and I have really great stories of people being very enthusiastic um, after public programs wanting to know the spices that are inside these. Um, so now they're yours. Uh, go to our website, um, headlands.org, for the full written out recipe with uh, proportions and instructions um, if you want to do this at home. Looking forward to cooking with you next time. Thanks for watching.